Okay, I'm gonna be showing you some diminished stuff and explain a diminished scale. So a diminished scale is based off of four notes. And uh here's the chord. I'm gonna be showing you in an uh, E diminished or flat diminished or C sharp diminished or G diminished. No, I'll get to the naming later. Here's one form you can use on the fourth string two, third string three. Well let let's do it like this. Like, uh, one would be the first fret I would be hitting. Two would be the next one up. So, on the fourth string, it would be like that. And on the second, or on the third string, it would be half step up. On the second string, it would be the same fret as on the fourth string. And the third string, the same one on the third fret. Now to show it to you, it's only on the fifth string. This form is uh, starting on the fifth string, the fret would be right there, then the uh, fourth string would be half step up from the first, from the uh, fifth string. And the uh, third string would be half step down from that string, from the fifth string. And then the uh, second string is the same as the fourth string. So anyway, those are two. Those are uh, two chords. Um, I don't know it on the sixth string yet. So uh, what a diminished scale is? It's based off of four notes, and each note is um, one and a half steps up from each other. Like uh, E diminished would be E, G, B flat, C sharp back to the E again. Or you could start it off in G and it's the same note so any so you can just take your diminished chord like that and uh, place it anywhere on the fretboard let's say D diminished it would be D uh, G sharp B flat F. Move it up to the next position have F, B, uh, D, and your C sharp, or G sharp. So everywhere you move the chord, anywhere you move the chord through the one and a half step positions, it's going to have the same four notes in it. Same as the scale, like um, you could use an E diminished but then use a B flat dimension and it's the same notes right okay so knowing this you can start developing patterns and the pattern is um, I'm gonna drop to you right now but um it moves up diagonally and you can think of it as a checkerboard. And um, starting with fifth string, it would be this. The next string would be half step up. Another half step up. But when you move to third and second string, you want to move a whole step up. So. Incidentally, the patterns on the fourth and second string are going to be the same, and the same between the third, and first, and sixth string. And, uh, here's a good diminished lick, uh, sawing off in G.
that's the basic stuff and um, let me show you a bunch of uh, arpeggios and how to connect them in the next video.